Good morning. Today we're looking at Psalm 24 as our psalm of the day and the lyrics of a Bette Midler song came to mind as I began this psalm. From a distance the world looks blue and green and the snow-capped mountains white. From a distance the ocean meets the stream and the eagle takes the flight. God is watching us. God is watching us. God is watching us from a distance. Well, that's a nice song, but is it entirely true? Is God near or is he distant? And this psalm calls us to give thanks, to give thought and to give praise to this God. Give thanks because the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. It belongs to him because he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Yet the Lord isn't like a selfish child clutching his toys to himself. Rather, he shares the earth with us who live on it. Paul quotes this verse to the Corinthians to show that they as Christians can eat and enjoy food sold in the marketplace. And he says elsewhere, for everything God created is good and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving. G.K. Chesterton wrote, the worst moment for an atheist is when he is really thankful and he has no one to thank. But we don't have to be like that today. Today is a gift from the Lord, along with all his creation. He wants us to enjoy it. So let's give him thanks for his kindness, for every blessing, and forget not all his benefits. But then give thought to the kind of God he is. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The answer to that is not just anyone. Since the Lord is holy, we can only approach him if we have clean hands and a pure heart. Our actions and our attitudes matter. We need to trust him fully and not in any idols. We need to be truthful and in some ways this should give us confidence. The Lord is not like the pagan gods full of cruelty and corruption. On the other hand we have to ask where that leaves us. If God is so pure and looks right into the heart who can get near to him? And yet I know that that's where I need to be. That's where all the beauty and the joy and the peace is to be found. Well, there is someone who can stand there for me. For God isn't just holy, he is gracious. And Hebrews tells us that Jesus Christ didn't enter a sanctuary made with human hands, but he's entered heaven itself, now to appear for us in God's presence. And Jesus certainly has clean hands and a pure heart. And this is great news. It means that you can draw near to God through faith in Jesus Christ and receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God, our Saviour. So however weak or unworthy you may feel this morning, God invites you to put your faith in his Son and in his son's righteousness. Let us approach God's throne of grace, he says, with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. And then give praise, give praise to the King of glory. The song ends with a picture of the King of glory entering the holy city and the call goes out, lift up your heads, you gates. Now this is poetry, city gates don't have heads, but the ancient doors would have had posts and lintels and the cry is open up, welcome in to the King of glory. And some see this as a picture of Jesus returning in glory to heaven itself after his victory over death. But we can give praise today to Jesus our King. I want to give you glory, Lord. 
I want to open up to you. Come in. Come into my life. And we can sing that song together. Behold him there, the risen lamb, my perfect, spotless righteousness, the great unchangeable I am, the king of glory and of grace. One with himself I cannot die, my soul is purchased by his blood. My life is hid with Christ on high, with Christ my Saviour and my God. Through Jesus Christ, God is not distant, he has come near to us. Amen.